Now, I'm smell. I can't wait to eat. I'm, forget about the, I'm just ready to eat because it's pretty much done here. But we all know Drew Barrymore from her movie than her talk show. And now we can also call her a rebel homemaker because that is the title of her new cookbook, which she wrote alongside Chef Pilar Valdez. And they're both here this morning cooking up something special. It smells absolutely delicious. Thank you for being here. So excited. Thank you for having us, Michael. Um, Pilar and I brought you a quintessential soup and sandwich meal, <laughs> but we want to spin things on its head, you know? Someone said the other day, like, I want to make recipes you can't just Google. Mm -hmm. And I loved oh. that. It really inspired me, and I think it's a lot of what the motivation was in the cookbook. Another motivation for me in the cookbook is not to posture and pretend that I have a veneer of perfection. I'm totally not that person. So <laughs> this book is very intimate and personal. There's 300 of our photographs. Mm -hmm. We wrote the whole thing together. Uh -huh. It's our essays, and it, food is our love language, it's and so it's true. a huge part of our friendship. And so, Pilar, for you, what did you think when Drew called you and said, hey, let's write a cookbook together? I mean, it's sort of an incredible opportunity, right? She mentioned it as, like, as an idea, and I was like, no, you've got to be kidding. You always have to have a goal. And by the way, I didn't call her. We were just in the kitchen together. <laughs> it's true. Oh. We were around but, the breakfast but, table. Exactly. But, Drew, you've done so much. You're, you're, an, you're an actor. You're a talk show host. You're a businesswoman. Why did you want to add, like, chef? or author to your resume? You know, I, I think that in the 80s, 90s, you know, even the 70s, like that lifestyle expert never spoke to me. But I, because it had that veneer of do as I do because I do it so well. And I was like, <laughs> I want to learn together. And then I really love sharing things. And this is such a big part of our lives is being in the kitchen that I wanted to share that, but I wanted to share it in a way that was very personal and not trying to pretend do as I do. This yeah. is what we do. It's true, and one of I think one of the most beautiful things about the cookbook is like the recipes are really food that we make in the home, like together. So really being able to share that has, is going to be really wonderful. Well, let's make some food, Rebel Home Makers. What are we making today? So the first thing we're doing, Michael, is we're going to do a roasted poblano and tomatillo soup. Ooh. It's, it's really it's your favorite, right? It's my favorite soup it's in the world. It's your favorite soup in the world. And I highly suggest if you have leftovers, put it in the fridge, and you can even reduce it a little bit and use it as a sauce the a next sauce, day. A sauce, a marinade, that sort of thing. Every so time you put this on food, let alone in a hearty bowl on its own, it's like... It's got that flavor profile that is really addictive. Okay, so how do we true. make it? All right, so over here in the pot, we've got some leeks, leeks. that have been sauteing. Um, and you want to get those nice and soft and caramelized. And then we also roast, roast it off. Yeah, exactly. So we have poblanos. Sheep pan cooking is so it's easy. so easy. We have poblanos. We have garlic, tomatillo, jalapeno, and shallot. Put it all Ooh. in. Ooh. We're going to drop Ooh. that all into the pot. And, yeah. and then you're going to puree it into what is a true heaven and I also want to tell people I'm a home cook mm -hmm. and if I can attack something without so much intimidation other people can too anyone can absolutely do it so if I can do it anyone can do it <laughs> I promise you but I'm very passionate about flavors and spices and sort of having traveled around the world my whole life and really learned we're a cookbook collection mm -hmm. collector we have cookbook club on the show I watched people in the pandemic make sourdough bowls mm -hmm. together as a collective experience which incentivized me to do this we made this in the pandemic we launched our show in the yeah. pandemic and I think it was an invitation for us to put ourselves out there with humility and a lack of again perfection <laughs> which is which is fine but it's gonna taste good I can feel it because I want it's, you put, it's gonna I taste want you put delicious. vegetables in there you put beans in there and so then we put is some that aquafaba? this is the aquafaba which is like the special ingredient so the soup is actually vegan and to give it that sort of roundness and that body you add the aquafaba you bring everything to a boil simmer for 10 minutes as Drew said you puree and she's plating it up it's super super simple hopefully everybody will join us in cooking this soup um, and she's just garnishing yeah, with some the art of learning plating, too, is so much fun to me. I just really, really love it. And if you do a little napkin and a little plating for yourself, 
feels it, a little special. It, right? it's, a, it's a gift. Yeah, you it know, totally food is. is a gift. But I'm also looking at a sandwich over okay. here. What do we have? This <laughs> is um, hey. this is the grilled <laughs> this is the grilled apple and brie arugula sandwich that I really love. Oh wow! But what you need to know about this sandwich that was such a tip for me as a home cook is. Butter your bread first. <laughs> Don't put it in the pan, yeah. otherwise yeah. you're gonna get a wet, soggy sandwich. Yeah. You do this, you're gonna get that crisp. You look like you're offended if your sandwich is <laughs> like, you're gonna get a wet, soggy sandwich. Do not do that. Not here, not in this kitchen, <laughs> not with us rebel homemakers. You might look like a chicken with your head cut off while you're cooking, and not Pilar, me. It's also a pleasure for me to learn and cook with someone who yeah. is a professional chef, self-taught, self-made and come at it with that kind of spirit. Well, it is a pleasure to cook with both of you. Thank you. And, and everyone at home, you can do this. Drew shows that you can do this yourself. Rebel Homemaker, it comes out next Tuesday and you can get these recipes on GoodMorningAmerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.